Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. Back to cycling, and I'm afraid, guys, Joel is not in this particular video. What are we talking about? Well, it's coming up to Christmas, so we've got to be talking about Rafa 500. Now, for those of you who do not know, Rafa is an achingly hip, actually it's not quite as achingly hip as it used to be, a uh, cycle clothing brand. And a number of years ago, they started this thing where they said, look, we ought to get out on our bikes around the Christmas period. So they said, why don't we set you a challenge where you ride 500 kilometers, okay, because they're a European company, um, 500 kilometers between Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Okay, inclusive, because it starts on Christmas Eve, finishes on New Year's Eve, and you ride 500 kilometers and you upload that onto Strava, and if you do it, you get a badge. And it was just a way of saying, let's get out on our bikes, let's get some exercise, let's not stay at home and stuff ourselves and watch Mrs. Nunn's Boys and stuff like that. So I thought, being uh, a Rafa 500 completist, uh, on, at least, uh, on at least one occasion, I thought I was in a position to give you some decent, sensible tips as to how to do it. So let's start off. Tip number one, you need a bike. Now you're going to say, well, Julian, we know you need a bike. Okay, well, all right, some people may think you can do that for 500 uh, by running because you can run on Strava. And in fact, you can do uh, Rafa 500 and a few people, mainly from Finland, have actually managed to run uh, 500 kilometers between Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. But I suggest uh, you do it on a bicycle and make sure you've got a bicycle. Now, the other thing you've got to make sure is not only that you've got a bicycle, but that it's in good working order. Uh, so tip number two uh, is pump up your tires. Now you could do that on the 23rd of December, so you're ready for the 24th when it starts. Uh, you could do it every day at Rafa 500, i.e. up to and including New Year's Eve, or you could just do it when the tires need pumping. But tip number two is to make sure your tires are pumped up. Now tip number three, is you've got to be on Strava. What is Strava? Strava is an app. And what that means is you've got to have a smartphone. So I'm afraid uh, Rafa 500 is not uh, for poor people who haven't got a smartphone because if you're not on the app and it's not connected to your, your Garmin or your Wahoos, you're going to need to spend a lot of money if you want to do Rafa 500, then I'm afraid it's not going to work. But if you are on Strava and you have got a Garmin and you have got a Wah or a Wahoo and you have got a bike, then you can record all of your Rafa 500 rides and you can upload it and put it on Strava. So every all over the world can see that you are one of the special few who got out on your bike over Christmas and rode 500 kilometers. Now the next tip is, you're thinking 500 kilometers, well how do I do that? Well there's various ways you can do that and I've jotted down a few here on my notes. You could do one 500 kilometer ride and there are some people who do this they start at one minute past midnight on uh, uh, Christmas Eve yeah Christmas Eve uh, and they ride 500 kilometers and they whack out that Rafa 500 in one go you could alternatively do 500 one kilometer rides uh, it has been done has been done by a gentleman in Japan I suggest you don't try that it's rather difficult you could do 10 rides of 50 kilometers each, okay? 10 times 50, you will know if you know your maths, mine adds up to 500. You could do 50 rides of 10 kilometers each. Same thing, but done slightly differently. You could do uh, 25 rides of 20 kilometers each, or alternatively, 20 rides of 25 kilometers each. You could do 250 kilometers times two. You could do five 100 kilometer rides, or you could do 105 kilometer rides, or you could just do any combination you wanted. But the key thing is it must add up to 500 kilometers. Now, the next tip is I suggest you don't start too early, okay? So there's no point thinking, I oh, know I'm going to go out on the 23rd and I'm going to whack out 70 miles or so, because that's before Rafa 500 actually starts. OK, so important thing starts on December the 24th. The other thing is don't finish too late. You might think, I oh, know I don't want to glide on uh, New Year's Eve because I want to go out and get pissed and see in the New Year. So I'll finish it off. I'll whack it out on New Year's Day. No, it finishes at midnight on uh, New Year's Eve. In other words, if it's one minute past midnight, it's, it's then 2023 and you're too late. And, but not only uh, do you have to do it within the deadline, but you have to make sure it's uploaded to Strava. So don't finish your ride 
at exactly midnight on New Year's Eve and then upload it to Strava and you find you've missed the deadline. Now, you may um, be one of those people who has a life. Okay, you, you have a family, you have loved ones, and therefore you can't go out and ride your bike every day, of, of, every day of Christmas, no matter how much you want to. So what I suggest you do is make a note of those days right, that you've promised your family uh, you're going to spend time with them. So you might say, okay, on the 24th, uh, I need to see extended uh, family. 25th, I have to see, you know, wife, kids, stuff like that. Boxing Day, I have to see uh, grandparents, if you're lucky enough to still have your grandparents. On the 26th, is it 26? No, that's a Boxing Day. On the 27th, you have to see the neighbours. On the 28th, you, do you see what I mean? So if you have to cross those days, out of the uh, Math for 500 list, then make sure you plan that. And what I suggest you do, you get a piece of paper like this, uh, you get a pen like this, and you write down uh, a few notes as to how you're going to plan Math for 500. Because as you know, um, plan, to, plan to succeed, succeed in the plan. That's it. Is that, is that something that I mean? So I can't remember. Anyway, the next thing is, you've got to fuel adequately. And that means you've got to eat sufficient food that's going to take you through your mind. So if you're going to do, uh, I don't know, five 100 kilometer rides, then you want to make sure you're fueled. Now there is some recommended fueling that I've seen on uh, Road, Road CC and GCN and stuff like that. One of the things they suggest is turkey and lots of it. They suggest um, uh, pigs in blankets, okay? Um, blankets are very good if you're out, uh, particularly during the cold weather, because if you have a crash, you know, you come down on the ice, you've got some blankets with you, that'll keep you warm. If you've got a pig with you, you've got something to chew on while you're waiting two days or three days or however long it is for the ambulance to arrive. So make sure you fuel uh, properly. I like, to, I like to fill my pockets with a little bit of trifle, uh, a handful of uh, Brussels sprouts, they're always quite useful, a couple of tins of celebrations. They go into the, in, in, into the saddlebag, uh, and then rum butter. I find if I use rum butter and I smear that on as a kind of alternative to chamois creams. I'm in my, I'm in my shorts, okay, I've got some I've got some goose fat which I get off the potatoes and then put back on the potatoes if I'm having them on Boxing Day. So I put that into my uh, 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 chamois, I put those into my shorts and therefore I've got a nice smooth uh, kind of slide when I'm riding along uh, doing my Rafa 500. Now the next thing is, and this is the last, uh, last of my tips, I'm not sure if this is the, uh, the 14th or the 27th, but the thing you must not do, and this is a 100% key element of Rafa 500, you cannot wear a single item of Rafa kit, because as we all know, um, uh, Rafa, Rafa, Rafa is for wankers, let's be honest, okay? So don't wear uh, any Rafa kit. You might be lucky and your your partner or your spouse or your neighbour or whoever it is, friendly grandparent, gives you some kind of, I don't know, 230 pound Gore Infinium Pro Rafa Brevet jersey uh, as a special gift. I'm sorry, you cannot wear it during Rafa 500. You've got to wear DHB is okay. Uh, stuff from Aldi or Little, that's okay. The occasional bit of Castelli. ASOS tends to be frowned on, but do not wear a single item of Rafa kit. And there you are. All I can say is see you on the road, guys, because of course I will be doing Rafa 500. If you want to follow me on Strava, my name is uh, what is my name? Uh, my name is Julian Hutchings on Strava. I have a number of followers. Um, I always welcome more followers because I like to get kudos, right? Kudos is where people say, well done, mate. You did a ride. You went out for, I don't know, a, a half a kilometre walk or something like that. You went up to Little to buy some Brussels sprouts and you put it on Strava so people can give you cordial kudos all over the world. And I like to give kudos to the people that I follow as well. So what I suggest you do is join me on the road. Let's do that for 500, guys, and let's have some fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good Christmas. See you next time.